It's common to see Canada geese flying in formation during fall or spring migration, but there are many birds whose journeys we do not witness. Many birds, such as orioles, sparrows, and warblers, seem to just disappear when the weather gets colder, and then they reappear in the spring. About 80% of the birds who migrate make their journeys at night. This might seem counterintuitive and much more difficult. So why do they travel at night, and how are they able to navigate such an arduous and sometimes lengthy trip in the dark? The reason for night travel continues to perplex scientists, but they do have a few theories. The first is that the air at night is calmer than during the day and is free of thermals. Thermals are columns of air that form when the sun warms the ground. If you've ever seen a vulture or raptor circling around and around in the sky on a sunny day, they're likely hitching a ride on these thermals. These aren't there at night, of course, giving birds a more stable environment to fly in. The second reason is cooler temperatures at night. Flying for great distances means that birds generate a lot of heat. Whew. Not being in direct sunlight is helpful and prevents them from overheating. It would be like us choosing to go out for a run in the early morning versus oh. during full sun at 2 p.m. And the third reason is that there are fewer predators at night than there are during the day. Now, there are still predators during the night, like owls and mammalian critters, but overall, there are fewer than what's around in the day. Hawks and falcons who would prey upon songbirds aren't active at night, so having fewer threats is definitely a bonus. That brings me to the last part. How do they navigate in the dark? There are several theories, but I'll discuss just two of them in this video. Birds are able to sense the Earth's magnetic field from the Earth's molten core and use this as an internal compass. Their eyes contain a light-sensitive protein called cryptochromes. It looks kind of like a big pile of curling ribbon. This protein allows them to detect blue light and through a series of chemical reactions with this light, enables them to detect the magnetic field. Another amazing feature is that some birds have magnetite crystals in some of the cells in their beaks. Magnetite is an iron oxide crystal that aligns with magnetic north. It is believed that these crystals act as a magnetic sensor, or like an internal GPS system, providing birds with information about the direction relative to the Earth's poles. Have you been lucky enough to see migration in the night sky? Or maybe you didn't see them, but heard them vocalizing? If you have, I'd love to hear what your experience was like. Feel free to share in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.